Hello there again, YouTube. It's once again I, your gothic host with the most, Nox Burzum, back to bring you more blasphemous brews. Today's brew is once again non alcoholic. Today's is the Monster Juice Rio Punch. Why? Because I am a sucker for advertising. That is why I am definitely the target market. Okay, you hear that Monster Energy? Hashtag Coca Cola products. Hashtag Give me fucking sponsorship. Any rate. Hashtag Shut up and take my money. Exactly. Shut up and take my money, yes. Monster Juice, Energy and Juice. Brazil does it big. It's home to over 70% of all fruits ever known. Ha <laughs> ha, fruits, gay jokes. Yeah. Thrown in the world's largest party, Carnival, in Rio de Janeiro, and you get some epic inspiration. Never been there for it. I have seen it in videos. It looks really fucking cool. It's like basically a 16-block long block party. Uh, Juice Monster Rio Punch is a totally new taste sensation. It's a blend of exotic fruit flavors with a hint of spice. Just a hint. That's fully loaded with our world-famous Monster Energy Blend. Enough caffeine to kill a horse! From the shore of, C of Copacabana, Copacabana... Okay, from the shore of Copacabana Beach, this is what happens when you don't reach it ahead of time. <laughs> to the top of Sugarloaf Mountain. What the hell of a name? Sugarloaf Mountain, okay. Rio Punch will have you partying into the night. Unleash the beast! And with 490% of your daily recommended intake of B12, goddamn right you're gonna unleash the beast. All right, so my wife accidentally opened this yesterday, but did not tell me what it tastes like. She just said it was fruity, which is like everything I else said Monster it says. Like my Pacific Punch, but then not, and I was so confused. Got it. So let's see what this site looks like. All right, it looks like passion fruit juice is what it looks like. Passion fruit mixed with some grapefruit. Interesting. Really has no scent to it at all. Yeah. This is very similar to Pacific Punch, but not quite as... Not quite as sugary. Yeah. And much more emphasis on fruit taste. Uh, this does only have 2% fruit juice in it. But, I mean, it's monster, so what the fuck kind of surprise is that? Also, I want to give a shout out to the wife who did my fucking eyes today. My eyes look great, I think. Hashtag wife is amazing. Aww. And, uh, yeah, I would spend 250 on this again. Absolutely. It tastes like a mixture of watermelon, papaya, guava, and, uh, to be honest, it kind of tastes like they threw a little bit of, uh, Skittles in the mix and then just kind of blended it all together and threw in a bunch of caffeine. Which I'm okay with. So yeah. For $2.50 at Woodman's, go pick yourself up a can of this shit. I give it an 8 out of 10 for taste. Just because it's not quite as effervescent as it could be. I think a little bit more com carbonation actually would have done this a great deal of uh, help. But apart from the lack of carbonation, which will make it sparkle, which I think would be a little bit better for a fruity sensation of it. Apart from that, it's great. Uh, yeah, solid 8 out of 10. Peace, love, and heavy fucking mail, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's been a short video, but I promise we'll have some better ones coming up for you soon. And, uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, movies and, uh, TV shows in the near future. Again, back into the core of Enter the Void. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe and become a patron. Helps us get our production off the ground. Goodbye!